assist, points, and total face-off winning percentage. He has won the Bobby Clark Trophy as the team's most valuable player four times. Our captain, number 88, Eric Lindgrass. Here's, here's Lindros. Sidestepping a check, moving in across the line, trying to get away from another one. Still has the puck, can't get it deep, however. And the Cats clear, but not out. Here's Recky with a pass to Lindros. The shot score! Lindros gets this one, the third power play goal of the game for the Flyers. And it's 4 to 3, Philadelphia. Well, I think if you were going to give a player a goal uh, like Lindros, he deserved it because he did a lot of work on the sideboard. You know, he, he kept control of the puck. He was very patient, and he just stayed right with it. So the Flyers, again, capitalized on the power play. And then it was the response after, as Recky with the great fake. And guess who goes to the net? He knows once he did the work along the boards, like Dorney said, go to the net, you'll somehow get the puck. If Recky takes the shot, you'll get the rebound. But Recky elected to make a real good pass to, to allow Lindros in close. You know, Mark Recky was quoted as saying he is a better passer than he is a goal scorer. And what we've seen tonight, I tend to agree with him. I mean, he's going to get his goals, but he makes some outstanding passes to set up teammates. So a four-point night already for Mark Recky. All assists, tying Recky to Desjardins. Leclerc's in the high slot. Recky with it to Lindros. Back out to Recky. Thought about the shot. Plays catch with Lindros. Recky again. Thinking about it, his pass instead is to Desjardins. His pass is to Gagne in front. Lindros scores! Gagne spots Lindros. It's a power play goal for to Philadelphia. Great passing on the perimeter. Recky, Desjardins, they didn't panic with the puck. They didn't try to put the puck where it wasn't supposed to go. In other words, force the shot. They waited, they waited, and got the quality opportunity down, down close. It's a three on two down low with Gagne making the play. Well, everybody felt pretty good about Gagne joining the Flyers' power play because the ability to find the open man. Now, the Flyers used a lot of patience. They just waited to make that perfect pass. Now, if you just stop it right here. Now, here's Gagne. He's got his choice to try and get it over to Lindros. He waits, he waits, and then just puts a great pass. Meanwhile, Hackett had committed, and you saw him on both knees. Look at that stick on the ice. Wait for Hackett to go down, throw it up high. That's a touch of a surgeon right there. Well, that was well orchestrated. And you know what John LeClaire did? He knocked the stick right out of the hands of Gurren. So Gurren's playing without a stick in front of the net. So everything worked the right way for the Flyers in this two-man advantage. Well, I'll tell you what, you put yourself in a position, not inside the net when you put yourself for that. Thank you, JJ. With the captain, uh, how tough is that to swallow a uh, final minute of play and they get one against you? Yeah, it's not a good goal for us to give up the uh, last couple minutes, but uh, you know, we got one goal uh, lead heading into the last uh, last little bit here, so we got to turn it on. we got to keep the pressure going uh, uh, at their net and uh, make sure they don't have much the other way. What was said in the dressing room in the uh, in the first intermission because you really came, came out like gangbusters in the second period? Well, we did well in the first 10 minutes of the first period and then we uh, uh, we let it go a little bit and we went, got back to our uh, our regular uh, work ethic and uh, I thought we took the play uh, pretty well to them in the second period so we got to continue that for the third. You say regular work ethic, how does that happen? How do you drop back into that style of play? Well I think it's just getting things in deep, you know, when we try and get too fancy with the puck you can't uh, use our uh, use our skill to uh, to get to the uh, to get to the four check and really make some things happen. Looking at your power play goal, many want to know, are, are, do you feel 100% after what you went through are you, and if not, how close to, are you to 100%? Well our team's playing real well and uh, we're looking forward to, uh, to a good third period here and and any way you can contribute is, uh, is good. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling stronger every game and uh, go out of that way. Thanks, Eric. Appreciate it. With the captain, Eric Lindros, we take a timeout. When we the Flyers have outchanced them 15 to nothing. Here's Renberg to Lindros. Shot, he scores! That chance finds the back of the net. And Lindros is giving the Flyers a 3-2 lead. The Flyers came out very quickly out of the zone. Good puck movement. McGillis up into Renberg. And then Renberg, he's the one that makes this play. He draws the defender towards him. And then right at the last second, he'll bring the puck right out into the center. And that allows Lindros to go with a one-timer. 
You never want to allow a goaltender get set up in a set position. Some good work defensively, but the play Renberg makes to Lindros for a quick release. Outstanding. Look at Lindros. Right away, he fires it. I mean, you're not really looking to pick a spot. You're looking to get the puck on net. And when you release the puck quickly, similar to what John LeClaire scored against Montreal, same thing. Get it on net. You never know what will happen. Rolson got a piece of it, but the Flyers, a huge goal and a 3-2 lead. Third of the year for Lindros. His back drops it off for Nedved. Nedved framed by Lindros. The helmet comes flying, but the rush carries on. Now a penalty up coming. Now Lindros is all tangled up with a Ranger. And now Schneider's three Rangers on one. Renberg gets in there, and the Flyers do get there. Lindros taking some punches. Throwing them, I mean, and now we've got a mess at center ice. And I could not identify the Ranger that was initially wrapped up with Lindros. Lindros had run. Oh, it's Todd there. Harvey. There's Harvey. And Harvey's probably fortunate that they... Oh, he's cut very badly over the left eye. Oh, yeah, Harvey did take the worst for the wear, even though... Uh, he got some help from his teammates. Eric Lindros has had a, a history with the Rangers. There's no doubt about that. A couple of times he was suspended for offenses in Ranger games. One to Chain Trill and one to Nedved, in fact, last year here at this building when Neil Smith made some comments after that game. This hit, I thought the first one was clean. Let's get another look at it. That's a clean check. That's a good check. <laughs> Harvey came over and uh, Lindros was ready for him. And then the Rangers jumped in and the Flyers soon thereafter. Very hard to say where he got cut there. Oh, it might have been with those punches being thrown right about now. Right there. See, he was getting some punches in, or maybe it's right off the top. He wasn't cut coming off the boards there. Well, I'll tell you what, can you believe the game we're going to have Friday? Oh, oh, this is just oh. heating up. Oh, yeah. We'll be reaching for it, pokes at it, Vela try to keep it in. The Flyers clear, empty net, Lindros racing after it. He'll get to it, the shot, score! Empty net goal, and the Flyers will win it. Well, that was a burst of speed by Eric Lindros. He could smell that empty net. And dejection on the face of former coach Terry Murray. But, you know, you, you have to go back to what happened inside the blue line, the effort that Berube made in getting that puck out. I mean, he stayed with it, he chipped it out, and then it was just a race for that loose puck, which Lindros won. You know, that was a heck of a play by Lindros when he got to the puck. I thought he would take the quick backhand, worried that the puck was going to go too deep. But he was very calm, actually went from backhand to forehand, and then drilled it high into the net. Watch this play right here inside the blue line. Barubi and finally Samuelson coming to help him out. There's that support. And then the empty net goal. Puts it in. Lank out of the puck. Lank out cutting in. Center to Lindros. From Lankow, and then Lindros rips it home. Power play goal, three nothing Philadelphia. Dana Lankow once again with a great pass. He sees the ice so well, and on the back end, all he's going to do is flip it right back into the middle, allowing Eric Lindros to take the shot. But right now, as much as it's a great goal, the concern right now is for Eric Desjardin on the slash from Mike Ricci during the power play. Well, a good keep in by the Flyers along the wall with Recky being responsible for that. But look at Lindros actually skating backwards. And the reason you do that is to get away from the defenseman, and he just one-timed it. And you know, we were talking before the game, Coatsy, about Lindros saying, hey, you got to shoot the puck, man. You know, you can't keep passing all the time. With your shot, shoot it. Well, he rifles one that time. Shields, no chance on it. Was that another power play? That was a power well, play. Why not, eh? Well, you know, it's so important to score in a five-on-three. It actually was on the five-on-four that they get the goal, but they... Lindros looking to create some more offense. Ahead to LeClaire, and now Renberg. In across the line, Renberg stops. Here's Lindros, the shot, saver by rebound! Hit the post! Hit the post, now LeClaire back at it. Lindros tips it home, he scores! Persistence pays off for the big guy, and it's tied at one. 
It wasn't for lack of opportunity. Boy, not one, not two, but three. And it was actually the less of the three that is actually going to go in the net because it's just a matter of redirecting the puck. Herve made a wonderful save on the pass from Renberg to Lindros. Watch this save, and then on the wraparound, it was it wasn't a high-powered shot, but the, the direction was there. Here's the shot. Herbe makes a wonderful save. And then Lindros and Leclerc, Renberg, very persistent. That was just a shovel pass in front and the deflection that beat Herbe. 3-1 uh, Flyers after two right now. And you head in after the first period and you trail by one. But second period seems to be your guys. You have some more goals than any other team. Why is that? And you get the equal. <laughs> well, we... Uh we got to the four check, we got our cycles going, and uh, we got some pucks towards the net, and any time you start firing it towards the net, then good things happen. The power play also has been so awesome, I'll use that word. With the exception of the other night, yeah. Right. Well, but, we, uh, we, I already forgot about that. <laughs> but we didn't, we didn't. Uh, we're one for two tonight, and uh, you know, we're, uh, Rico makes a great play to come behind and uh, kind of hide in the weeds and come out to the, the side of the slide. And, uh, you know, those are, uh, that's a great one-time you like, oh, it was top shelf, and uh, there wasn't any doubt about it. And part of that is your patience to get him this pass on the power play, too. And if he takes a moment, maybe your base there. Well, just keep firing towards the net and get things happen. Like I said before, it's not, uh, we haven't been doing anything real, uh, real crazy or real spectacular out there. It's just some basics, and we're hanging on to the puck, and we're, uh, we're making solid plays. Very good. I'll let you go in there. Okay. Good luck as you head to the third period. 3-1 after two.